वेलकम टू अवर मैप बेस्ड फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड ज्योग्राफी वीडियो सीरीज वी आर स्टडिंग साउथ अमेरिका इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी कंप्लीटेड एंडीज माउंटेन एक्सटेंड पेटागोनिया एंड माउंट अकांकुआ इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल कवर द पाम्पास पराना एंड उरुग्वे रिवर्स एंड फ्यू मोर नोटेबल पिक्स ऑफ द एंडीज एंड ग्रैंड चैको बिफोर वी बिगिन Make sure to download our app Clarity UPSC. It is available for iOS on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, and as a web app. Statement True False Quiz truly helps you become an expert in statement evaluation of prelims. More on this at the end of the video. Let us begin. Moving further north, we reach the Pampas. The Pampas is a vast plain region in southeastern South America. It spreads mainly across Argentina. It also extends into parts of Uruguay and southern Brazil. The Pampas are fertile grasslands. These plains are almost entirely flat. The region is known for rich soils ideal for agriculture. Vegetation here is dominated by grasses. Trees are scarce due to regular wildfires. This grassland ecosystem supports extensive cattle ranching. Pampas beef is famous globally for its quality. The climate of the Pampas is temperate. Summers are warm and winters are mild. Rainfall is moderate and evenly distributed throughout the year. Annual rainfall ranges from around 60 to 120 cm. The fauna of the Pampas includes mammals like deer and armadillos. Birds such as rias and hawks are common. The region also hosts rodents like guinea pigs and pampas foxes. Today, the Pampas is an economic heartland for Argentina. Agriculture and cattle ranching dominate this region. Next, we move to two important rivers of South America. The Parana River is one of the South America's major rivers. It flows mainly through Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. The Uruguay River is another significant river. It flows along the borders of Brazil, Argentina and Uruguay. Both these rivers eventually drain into a wide estuary. This estuary is called the Rio de la Plata. It forms a natural border between Argentina and Uruguay. Two major capital cities are located along Rio de la Plata. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, lies on its western shore. Montevideo, the capital of Uruguay, lies on its eastern shore. The Rio de la Plata is economically important. It serves as a major shipping route. It connects inland cities with the Atlantic Ocean. Now we move to some important mountain peaks in the Andes between 30 degrees south and 20 degrees south latitude. First among these peaks is Ojos del Salado. It is located on the border between Chile and Argentina. Ojos del Salado rises to 6,893 meters above sea level. This mountain holds the title of the highest volcano in the world. However, it is currently inactive and not erupting. Next comes Monte Pisces. It is located in Argentina near the border with Chile. Monte Pisces stands at 6,793 meters above sea level. Like Ojos del Salado, it is also volcanic. But it too is currently inactive and quiet. Then we have Nevado Tres Cruces. It is situated entirely within Chile. Nevado Tres Cruces has a height of about 6,748 meters. This mountain is volcanic and its slopes have glaciers. Despite being volcanic, it shows no current activity. Another important peak in this region is Tupungato. This mountain lies on the border between Chile and Argentina. Tupungato reaches roughly 6,800 meters in height. It is volcanic but not active right now. The slopes of Tupungato also feature significant glacier cover. Further north, we find Mercedario. It is fully located within Argentina. Mercedario rises to 6,770 meters. Unlike other peaks mentioned, Mercedario is not volcanic. 
It is purely a mountain formed by the uplift of the Andes. Finally, we arrive at Lulailaico. It is located on the border between Chile and Argentina. Lulailaico stands about 6739 meters. It is volcanic but currently inactive. Importantly, Lulailaco hosts one of the highest archaeological sites ever discovered. Climbing these peaks is difficult and dangerous. High altitude combined with harsh weather makes conditions challenging for mountaineers. Next we move eastward from the Andes towards Gran Chaco. Gran Chaco is a large plain region in central South America. It spreads across parts of Argentina, Peruguay, Bolivia, and a small area in Brazil. This region is a vast lowland with mostly flat terrain. It has dry, thorny forests and open grasslands. Marshy and swampy areas are also common here. The climate of Gran Chaco is subtropical. Summers are hot and winters are mild. Rainfall is uneven across the region. Some areas receive sufficient rain while others stay very dry. Vegetation in Gran Chaco consists mostly of shrubs, thorny bushes and hardy trees. Quebracho trees dominate here. These trees have extremely hard wood. Historically, Quebracho wood was valuable for tannins used in leather making. Gran Chaco is home to rich wildlife. Animals like jaguars, armadillos, anteaters and many bird species thrive here. The region also has a variety of reptiles, including snakes and caimans. Culturally, Gran Chaco holds a special place in Argentina's history. It is famous for its traditional cattle ranching. The region is known as the land of gauchos. Gauchos are Argentine cowboys known for their wide brimmed hats and distinctive attire. They symbolize Argentina's traditional rural culture. Guachos first emerged in the 18th century. They herded cattle and became skilled horsemen. Today, the guacho is an iconic cultural figure in Argentina, closely linked to the vast, rugged landscapes of Gran Chaco. This is all about this video. We will study other features in next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Clarity of Concept UPSC. Download our app Clarity UPSC from App Store Play Store or as a web app. Links of these are given below. You get up-to-date UPSC relevant curated news in our app. Make sure you check out practice section. It has topic by topic statement analysis quiz section. It helps you master statement evaluation and develop critical thinking skills important for UPSC and all other multiple choice based questions of preliminary examinations. It has 5 levels of difficulty, making the learning fully challenging and retain longer. Download now.